Hey all, it's CJ with Smoky Beginnings. Today I've got something exciting in store for you. We're diving into the world of Philly cheesesteaks on the pit barrel cooker. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's go. First off, we will be making the seasoning blend that we will be putting onto the steaks. The seasoning blend consists of salt, black pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, thyme, basil, and chili powder. The full recipe is going to be on our blog, which is smokybeginnings.com. After mixing in the seasoning blend, we will add Worcestershire sauce as a binder to the steaks. Then we will generously apply the seasoning. Make sure that the steaks are completely covered with the seasoning. Leave the steaks out for about 30 minutes and allow the steaks to absorb the seasoning blend. While we are waiting, it is time to start our pit barrel cooker. This will be a pretty fast cook. It will probably be take about 30 to 45 minutes. So fill the charcoal basket about halfway full. Then load a full charcoal chimney. While the charcoal chimney is rolling and we are waiting for that bluish smoke to appear, we can start up making our vegetable blend. We're going to chop or dice a red pepper, a yellow pepper, mushrooms, and onions. Then in a pan over medium heat, add the vegetable blend. You can add pretty much any seasoning that you want to the vegetable blend. I'll be keeping it simple with salt and pepper. But I will also be adding some red wine to get a deep and rich flavor. Let the vegetables cook and the wine reduce. We want the onions to be translucent and the peppers and mushrooms to be tender. While we wait on the vegetables, it looks like the charcoal chimney is ready. Using heat resistant gloves and long handled tongs, we will put the lit coals right on top of our unlit coals. While those unlit coals ignite, we will then turn our attention back to the steaks. Next, I will add the hooks to the thickest part of the steak. And I got these steaks from a beef knuckle that I broke down earlier in the day. If you don't know what a beef knuckle is, it is a subprimal cut from the beef round or rump. It is a pretty lean piece of meat that you're able to break down to get some really great steaks, strips for fajitas, stew meat, or meat that you can grind into burgers. Lately it seems like the price of meat has been going up a lot. So I've been buying meat in bulk and breaking it down at home to save some money. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make more videos about how to break down larger pieces of meat. After placing the hooks in the thickest part of the meat, I will then place the steaks onto the hanging rods of the pit barrel cooker. Right now the temperature of the pit barrel cooker is right around 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which is typical. The pit barrel cooker usually cooks right around 275 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit for me. I will close the lid and make sure that the bottom vent is open. This smoking session is going to take between 30 to 45 minutes and we are shooting for internal temperature between 120 to 125 degrees Fahrenheit. We will come back and check it on the progress in just a little bit. It has been about 35 minutes and I received an alert from my meter plus probe saying that we have reached our desired internal temperature. Therefore, I'm going to take these steaks off the smoker and let them rest before slicing. While the steaks are resting, I'm going to toast some buns on the griddle. I'll start with some buns and then I'll add a layer of mayonnaise to get a nice crispy toasty bun. While the buns are toasting, let's slice the steaks. Now the first thing that you'll notice is that the steaks are on the rare side, which is what I want. Because once the buns have finished toasting, I'm going to put the thinly sliced steak onto the griddle. Doing so should give me the steak a nice sear and bring it up to the desired level of doneness. Uh, but right before taking the steak off the griddle, add your favorite cheese so that it becomes nice and melty. Today, I'm using provolone. Now it's time to make our pit barrel cooker Philly cheese steak. Load up the hoagie roll with steak, add the peppers, onions, and mushroom mixture, and there you have it. Our Philly cheesesteaks are ready to be devoured. This cheese is melty, the meat is juicy. This is gonna be delicious. If you like content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out smokybeginnings.com for our grilling and barbecue recipes. And until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.